Yeah. Uh, good to see you guys again. We're uh, we're anxiously uh, ready to get uh, to this week to we'll have another home game. I know that. Uh, hope our fans understand the importance of this game and will be here ready uh, to cheer very, very loudly in the vault Saturday night for our kids. Uh, disappointed with the outcome of uh, last week's game. Um, really felt like that, that game turned on about four plays that uh, really uh, took its toll on us and drained us somewhat emotionally. I expected to watch the film and be able to say that uh, some kids didn't play real hard, but watching it, particularly from the defensive side, our kids played extremely hard all the way throughout the game. Uh, Georgia had 76 plays. Eight of the 76 accounted for 278 yards. Um, and um, Obviously, they made the plays, but uh, we, we certainly uh, didn't have great eyes at some positions at times and kind of did our own thing somewhat, sort of like the Texas game. Uh, they made you pay. Good teams will. But um, if you look at the other 68 plays, thought our defense played outstanding. Um, but against a good team like Georgia, you can't uh, have those those eight plays that, that we gave up. And then offensively, it's the first game where you know they really uh, they just they manhandled and beat us up front. And, uh, played uh, a cover two base, and we couldn't block them. And uh, you know I tried to be hard on us as coaches also and find out was the plan uh, sound in, in previous games. Some of the plays we were have been very good to us against those kind of looks and you know they're just a very talented team. Wish we didn't play um, I didn't think it, with an edge offensively and uh, we, we take that personally as coaches and hopefully we can get that uh, edge back and that swagger back uh, for this week against Vandy. Richard, you have a question? <coughs> Coach, uh, Brian Bennett seemed to kind of come out of the woodwork this week, a couple of sacks, I think. What's accounted for his ascension? Um, Coach Kiffin does a great job every week of making sure that, that every kid that he coaches understands that uh, the depth chart is etched in sand. And whoever has the best week, because really a lot of those guys are interchangeable for us and, and can all be productive, and uh, he tries to honor the ones that prepare the best and, and practice the best. And Brian got his first start in a long time because of the week he had, and uh, thought that he had a, a really nice game. So hopefully that will continue. But that's it'll be back up for grabs this week with those guys, and uh, and we'll see who has the best weeks, and that's the four that will start. You said Saturday you want to wait to look at the film and see about judging Bo's game. Decision-making, what yeah. did you see? Uh, should have ran the ball several times on uh, scramble situations where they beat us up front. And he had chances to get some four, four yards, sometimes maybe 12 yards that uh, help us move the chains and and uh, decided to make throws. And, and uh, you know, watching the film, you see that he has some people that are semi-open, but uh, their closing speed made us pay pretty much every time he uh, tried to make those throws when – if you just uh, move the chains, we get another set of downs and can try more stuff and get more plays in. So I think he'll be the first to tell you that, uh, you know, he should have used his feet more and, uh, and helping us stay on schedule. And, and obviously uh, one of the four plays that I'm talking about that turned the game was after we got a turnover and kind of still had the lead. And, you know, we run a play and he does get pressure but uh, decided to try to make a long throw on the run back across the middle, which you can't do in this league. And, that was one of the four that I think, uh, you know, turned the momentum against us.